Aberdeen defeat this afternoon. Your thoughts? Well, you can't start the game of football the way we started and expect to win here. You know they're a good side, Bromley. They're up in the top end of the division for a reason, and um, they deserve to win. First and foremost, I want to say that they were a better team and they deserve to win. But uh, some of our lads have to have a look at themselves. I thought the performance levels were really low, uh, especially for what we've done of late. Um, obviously, our injury situation just isn't helping. Not one fit centre half at our football club this, this afternoon. We've had to play full backs at centre half, and um, so it hasn't been ideal. It's frustrating. You just mentioned there was another number of absences from the squad from that played the other the other day. That didn't help you today, did it? No, it didn't help the team at all. No, Tom was a massive player for us. A chemo. Tom was out with his Achilles. A chemo was out with his groin. Pritchard's out with his back. The volume of games um, that we've had, and I got to say to the group, to be fair, on, on the positive to them, to pick up 12 points from our last six league games has been a miracle. It's been a miraculous effort from our lads because we've had so many key players injured, uh, huge players for us. So it was good to get Gorman back today. He got some minutes. Freeman got some minutes as well. Didn't want to use Kabamba for any longer than a half an hour. Obviously, with his build-up, he's coming back from a hamstring injury. The last thing we want to do is take a risk on that. We've still got plenty to play for now in the league with the playoffs still to go. How important is it to keep our heads up and go again at the weekend? Yeah, listen, I ain't down. Like I said to you, you know, the main priority for us is to sorry, gain promotion. So you're going to need a little bit of luck. We've got to get into the playoffs first and foremost. We're going to come oh, we're in second in the minutes. So we're in control of that. So can we stay in control of that in the last nine games? And um, I thank our supporters for coming down today. We've got to get the Hive buzzing though. Tuesday night, the Hive was really quiet. You know, the better atmosphere here today, and I thought we give our supporters nothing to sing about. I felt sorry for our supporters. Um, and there's no excuses from our part, but we've got to just jump back on the horse. Massive game against Eastley. They come into the game with a 10 day break, and we've just been through a quarter final play Tuesday night, and it is what it is. So we'll see who's fit come Monday. We'll patch everybody up, and then we'll go, uh, we'll go again for Tuesday night. But it's another massive game for us. It's a full fixture list in the division. Um, and we just got to keep going one game at a time. And the sooner the better we can get our better players back, our key players the more positive results we'd have. Is there any update of when we can expect to see a few of our key play back, players back? Like I said, you're there. Gorman now is obviously looks like he's back and now obviously the same with, with Freeman. Um, Kimo will have a scan on Monday to see how his hamstring is. He felt it yesterday in training. Um, so that's obviously a blow. Uh, I'd say the likes of Pritchard will be 50-50. I'd say the likes of uh, Thompson will be 50-50 as well. So we've just got to see how they are over the next few days. Dean, thank you for your time. Cheers, thanks.